Hey guys, welcome to Dart University, a great place to pick up some tech and for us to explain some of the questions that we get here at Dart. Now, one that we get asked a lot is about spark plugs, right? It's a very simple device, but there's a lot of nuances and design features that are critical to put in your application. So if we start with the combustion system, right? That's everything from the port, the chamber, the spark plug, how everything mixes, flows, and burns. It's a very important aspect of the engine and the spark plug is key. It sits right in the center. Right now, Dart spends a lot of time developing, you know, their cylinder heads with premium materials, great heat retention to make good power, thicker decks, lots of cooling attention details around the spark plug, right? Also, you get all the performance, all the burn rate, everything you want, and we want to make sure we put the right plug in there. Now, if we look at plugs, there's two basic sizes, per se, that we use at Dart. One is the shorter reach. That's the thread here. That's a 460 thousandths. Uh, it's got a tapered seat and you'd use that let's say in the small black Chevy Iron Eagle head or you have the longer reach or the 750 thousandths with the gasket for example that might be used in this LS head. Now there's some other details in spark plug designs right protrusion so protrusion is the distance that the ceramic and the electrode extend past the thread area you can see this one has a little bit longer protrusion than this one Right, and heat range. So heat range is you know, the ability of the plug to pull heat out or hold it in the chamber to kind of act as an additional sort of benefit for igniting or getting too hot if you're not too careful on which end of the scale you're at. So a great starting point, you can jump on Dart's website. Right, They've got a chart here with the cylinder heads listed from top to bottom. And as you go from left to right, you can see as increasing compression ratio, you might start to shift what sort of style or heat range of plug you have all the way up to power adders. Again, it's a great starting point, but every builder or owner is ultimately responsible for once you've fired up and done your first pass, check your spark plug and make adjustments as needed. Right, so you're going to look for things like sooting. Maybe the spark plug's a little bit too cold and you need to bump it up a little bit or change your air-fuel ratio to if you start to see pitting on the ceramic itself, if you start to see erosion on the strap, you know you're getting into knock and detonation, which is really bad. So you definitely want to make some important shifts to keep everything safe, make all the performance that you can, go out there and have some fun.